The Red Bull Chariot Race challenges teams of four to build their own chariot and compete in a race. The chariots dash down Mill Avenue to win a $2,000 prize, along with 60 cases of Red Bull. Cronkite News reporter Ann Perry attended the event and talked with some of the colorful teams. Red Bull brought their chariot race to Tempe where 20 student teams competed. Teams dress up, perform a skit, race around a track, and answer trivia questions to win. And with October 31st right around the corner, for one team, picking a theme was easy. So we, we thought Halloween at first, just because it was around that time. And so first thing we went to was Charlie Brown Halloween. So we thought about how we could get a theme out of that, and Red Baron just made sense to us. Chris, an engineering student, used his major to his advantage when creating the chariot. But the chariot's construction was not the reason behind the team's loss. Before going around the bend and answering a trivia question correctly, chariot racers are supposed to swap riders. However, Chris's team left the scene before swapping teammates. They continued on with an empty chariot, which ultimately cost them the race. So one of our team members struggled to get onto the cart during the swap. Uh, that we would maybe want to practice a little bit more, but we didn't really come with the mindset of wanting to win. We just came with the mindset of having a good time. Another team made a critical mistake as well. A team called the Super Service Bros incorrectly answered the trivia question. When asked what month comes first alphabetically, they answered with January instead of April. Oh, I, my, my brain was just space. Yeah, we were just going for speed at that point. There was nothing we else to do. We can win, we can win. I was just wanting to go fast. We had a great time. It was fun. Built for speed. Built for speed. Although both of these teams lost in the end, neither team came with the intention of winning. For them, just getting to participate was fulfilling enough. In Tempe and Perry, Cronkite News. <coughs> That's it for tonight's Cronkite Sports Report. Now back to Anna Nash at the desk.